Hey guys, Linda here. Finally back with another video. Sorry it took me so long to post again. Yeah, I just have not been feeling it and haven't been reading too much either. So I, I at least wanted to come back uh, when I had some books to go over with you all because I want to do a reading update for my TBR. I think I got six books I fin finally finished. Yeah, and thank you for hanging in there with me because sometime I know uh, I'd be like, you need to go post a video and I never make it up here to, to get the video done. Yeah. Every day I was like, I'm going to do a video and I get all my stuff together and yeah, I either I start watching TV or I start doing something else and it never happens. So thank you all for hanging in there with me and subscribing to my channel because I know I'll be doing the most. I don't be getting these videos up like, you know, they tell you when you start a uh, YouTube video, you need to post almost every other day. You need to always have some content coming out. Yeah, no, yeah, I, <laughs> I'm working on that. I'm going to keep working on that. <laughs> so let's get started here. First up, I have, uh, I finished The Midwinter Mail Order Bride. I think I mentioned I like Katie Wilde. I read another book of hers. I can't remember what the name of it was, but this is book number one in a Deadlands fantasy romance. What caught my attention was this cover. Isn't this cover beautiful? I don't know if she, I think she just do ebooks because if she did books, I would, uh, I would have been to order this. I I got to go. I'm gonna go back and look and see. Uh, do, do she actually have this book? Uh, but it probably won't, cause I looked on uh, Goodreads and it's a totally different cover. If it's that cover, I don't want it. I want this cover right here. This cover is fan freaking tastic. But anyway, let me move on. <laughs> this is a like I said. This is a dead Deadlands fantasy romance. This is book one in this series. Her name is Anya, and his name is Kyle. He's some like. Conan the Conqueror, but he cow the Conqueror, <laughs> and he's gonna take over a, a kingdom. He's gonna take over one of the kingdoms because he's gonna go there and kill the king or whatever. This reminded me of Conan, uh, well, the one I saw on TV with Arnold Schwarzenegger, where he's a kid and he uh, in bondage, and you know, but uh, that man who had Conan let him go, but this he breaks out of jail or a bondage or whatever because they have him working in the mines or something I can't remember but I think it they have them working there and he breaks out and he just starts fighting against this kingdom and in the end he become he killed the king and he become the king of this kingdom so his council think that he needs to get married so they send out these letters to these different kingdom looking for a wife for him and only uh, her kingdom respond because she wants to get get away from her family anyway, and so she says she'll marry him. She'll be a sacrifice and marry him. So she gets that's how they meet. And um, but he kind of feel like she don't really want to marry him, and he said that he's not going to force her. And if she don't want to marry him, and she he's going to send her back home. And she kind of wants to go back home anyway because something she needs to do back home that that has come up where well, she tried to tell her family about it before she left. But yeah, so he ends up. This is like a road trip, uh, medieval romance, because he's going to take her back uh, to her kingdom um, because she tell him why she needs to go back. Then they kind of fall for each other. I really, really enjoyed it. Like I mentioned before, I like Katie Wilde's writing. It, it uh, caught my attention from the beginning. I really, really enjoyed it. I give it four stars. And it's like, it's not that big of a book. I think it's like a hundred and some pages in this book. I can't remember. Uh, let's go to the last page here. It they it don't have a page in here, but it may be about a hundred and some pages, maybe two hundred, right at two hundred. But it wasn't that many. Uh, but she in that small amount of time, she told a good story. I really really enjoyed it. So I highly highly recommend it. And it's um the Midwinter Mail Order Bride by Katie Wow. Check it out. If you haven't read anything by Katie Wilde, check it out. Um, like, But her books are steamy. This wasn't over the top steamy, but it was still kind of steamy. Uh, the last book I read, uh, it was on werewolves or whatever. That was very, very steamy. But this one, it wasn't that steamy. Um, I, but I, I really, really enjoyed it. And I, I like a little steaminess in my book, so it didn't bother me. And like I said, it wasn't over the top. So check out Katie Wilde if you don't mind your books having a little steaminess in them. Um... Uh, Check her out. I really, really liked her writing. And next I have uh, read Sylvia Day, uh, Butterfly and Frost. This was, I got this from um, from the Romance Reveal book box. I can't remember what box it was. 
Uh, it's been signed. I hate when they put these little bookmark, book plates, or whatever they call them. Just sign the book. Don't put this in my book. I don't like that. Ugh. It just, yeah. <laughs> but I read this. I finished this. I give it three and a half stars. The story was good. When I give something three and a half stars, I don't mean that I didn't like it. I enjoyed the story, but it's nothing that I really want to go back and read again. Because um, this, uh, it threw me off from the beginning. This was on, let me see what these, uh, the character name were. This was on uh, Garrett. His name was Garrett Frost, and her name is Tegan Ransom. And what threw me off is that it's, they're in a small town. Well, I don't know how small it is, but they're they're like on the outskirts of a big. Is it San Francisco or something? I can't remember. But she meets him. She runs into him. She's out walking the dog with her friend, and she, he's running. And they accidentally bump into each other, and then she finds out that he lived next door to her. And he, I don't know, when he goes to her house to uh i guess to apologize because yeah they he kind of act very rude when they first meet and he's all up in her space and like he know her and stuff i was like what is going on he, that kind of threw me off but it happened for a reason and you find out at the end why he was like that but in the beginning of this it's kind of just threw me off he's an artist he's he paints he's a very famous artist and she used to be a something happened in her past and she used to be a uh, reality um, talk show, have a show on uh, plastic surgery because she was a she's a doctor. She used to do plastic surgery, and I think she had like a reality show with that, and it was very popular. But something happened, and she don't have a show anymore. And she moved to this smaller town, close to the big city, but like in a smaller suburb, trying to get herself together. And that's where she meets uh, Garrett, and it kind of threw me off that part because it don't explain why he's doing it. You never know why he's doing what he's doing. And that kind of threw me off with his character. But other than that, I enjoyed the story. Uh, it was really good. At the end, I understood, I understood what was going on. And that made me like the story more. But I still gave it three and a half stars. But if you like Sylvia Day, Butterfly and Frost, um, I recommend it. Give it a try. Um, I think you'll like it. It's just that nothing I want to go back and read again. Butterfly and Frost by Sylvia Day. And you know Sylvia Day. If you like Sylvia Day writing, you'll like this book. Uh, she do have steaminess, some steam, very steamy scenes up in here. I wouldn't say they're over the top, but they're very, very steamy. So, yeah, be cautious if you don't like that in your books. But if you read Sylvia Day, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Next, I have Ask Me Why by Hollow Ray. Uh, this is another one from their... Um, Romantic Reveal book box. I don't remember what box this came out of either. Uh, as you can see uh, here, this was signed also, but it, it don't have a book plate. Thank you. By Hollow Ray. I really, really enjoyed this. Uh, this is on... Let me see. I got this wrote down over here. Give me a minute. Because I had to write all this stuff down. Because I can't remember some of this. But if you look at the... Um, and this was... Uh, how many pages? Let me see. This is only... I mean, the page with Butterfly and Frost. This is only if you just want a quick little read. Uh, you need a little steaminess going on or whatever. It's just a hundred and some pages. 187 pages. So it won't take you long to fly right through this one. And like I said, next I have uh, Ask Me Why by Hollow Ray. And this is on... I had to need my paper because I forgot they got the um, names in it. Braylon, the female character name is Braylon. Look at that. Isn't that um, cover the uh, the chapter beautiful? I didn't know that until I went in here and started reading the book. And I was like, wow. And it it's on the uh, male and female have their own chapters. Let me show you his chapter, how it starts. Love it. His name is uh, Brace or Brantz. And he's a lawyer, and she owns her own, as you can see from the uh, picture here, she owns her own candy shop. And if you like uh, what it, what they call them, the trope where the father, where the uh, guy has a son or whatever, he has kids, you'll like this one because he has a son. And they meet because his son comes running here in her shop one day with his uh, nanny. And... She let him run around in the shop and she begins to like this little boy because he has a lot of character. You'll like him. You'll like the little boy in here. And um, he leaves. And when he go, when he leaves, he he's 
keep bothering his dad about taking him back to this candy shop because he really really enjoyed it because she have like she have candy she just have a whole bunch of different stuff in her she don't only sell candy she sell other stuff too but he like you know the kids like the candy because they get she got this big uh lollipop you know when kids see this right here you know they this good advertising that's what he gonna tell that's good advertising they have this big lollipop out in front of your shop and that's how they meet because he finally brings his son back to the shop and He's very braced because he done had some, a lot bad experience with women. So yeah, women are not on his uh, good list right now. And he's a divorce lawyer. Um, Cause he helped the guys out, men out, well, men and women uh, with their divorces. And like I said, he hadn't had good experiences in the female department <laughs> Cause with his mother or his uh, wife, his ex-wife. And um, so he's very rude. Yeah, you like a grumpy uh, male character. Yeah, Brace is the, or Bryce or whatever his name is. He's the one because he's very rude to her. You might not like him in the beginning, but he'll redeem himself. He redeems himself with his son because he loves his son. And, and yeah, he, he treats his son really good and he loves his son. But it's just the female characters. He kind of Brace and yeah, you'd be like, what? Where did that come from? But I enjoyed it. He redeemed himself in the end of me. I, I liked him too. I like both of these characters. Because I like snappy banter between the male and female characters. She had some snappy banter back and forth between them. I like it when the female character give as good, good as uh, the guy. You know, the guy throwing out these sharp barbs and whatever back and forth and that female character like oh, no you, you ain't you ain't finna get over on me and then she come back with her own stuff i like that snappy banter between the two main characters and it had a little bit of snappiness uh that kind of banter in this book i really really enjoyed it um and the female character she something that happened in her past and she kind of love shy too or not want to get involved or whatever not it something happened and she kind of got some PTSD going on but I really really uh, enjoyed this I gave it four stars ask me why by hollow ray and I will be reading some else by her because I really really enjoyed this story and this is going to be a keeper for me so uh, if you've tried this out let me know what you thought about it because I really really enjoyed it I gave it four stars next I have heart rule this is book number one in the dirty money novel uh, by Lisa Renee Jones. I think I spoke on this before that the the female character in here was because I didn't know if I was going to finish this because that female the female character in here was getting on my nerve and I'm glad I did. I was going to go ahead. It's three books in this. It's two more books in this series. I started to buy the whole series but I'm glad I didn't because I don't think I'm going to continue with this <sighs> because it, I don't know. Uh, this was on what the female uh, and male character. His name was Shane. His name is Shane Braden, and her name is Emily Stevens. And they, how did they meet? They run into each other at a coffee shop, and then they run into each other again when he's he's leaving his job. He's leaving work, and she um, is at the uh, I guess the uh, little desk where. She's trying to get back into the office and the guy don't want to let her back in because, you know, he said, you know, the doors are closed because she left something at the office and he, he said he didn't know her. So he want to let her back in. So Brandon show up and he he lets her back in because he knows uh, Brent Braden. What is his name again? Brandon. Um, the, the guard knows Brandon. So they let her back in. So that's how they meet again. And then they go out and have something to eat together. But anyway, they're, they're attracted to each other. And then what I didn't like about this is when they were like, oh, we can't be together. And so they call themselves breaking up. But next thing you know, well, she be like, we can't be together. Because uh, she got something going on in her life. And he also has something going on in his life because he was, he used to, he was the lawyer. And his dad called him back to get them out of trouble because their company was doing some underhanded stuff. And so the uh, FBI raided their business and... Well, they were finna, some people were finna go to jail, but he came and uh, he was a really good lawyer, so he came and got them out of that mess. But his dad and his brother are still doing underhanded stuff, so he's trying to get the business, he's trying to make the business legit, fighting against his dad and his brother who's trying to keep the who's still doing underhanded stuff. So that's what's going on with him, and she got something going on too. But I hate when the the writer don't tell you exactly. I don't tell me exactly what's going on, but give me a hint or something, cause I don't know what's going on with her. 
So they're saying that, well, we can't be together and blah, 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 this. And then next thing you know, she going knocking on his door, talking about she couldn't stay. Well, I just could not because it was back and forth just like that. First you break up, then you get back together, then you break back up, then you get... I cannot. I just like forget about it. I finished it though. I forced myself to go ahead and finish it. I'm going to give it three and a half stars or three stars because I just did not. <laughs> I'll give it three and a half stars because... I kind of want to know what her problem is, but then again, I don't because I don't want to have to keep going through them, breaking up and get back. I cannot. I can't. <laughs> yeah, ben, if you read this and you read the whole complete um, series, let me know. Is it worth it to, to get book two and book three in this? Because as of now, I, I don't even want to go. I don't even want to continue. But this is Hard Rule, book one in the Dirty Money uh, series. And I like Lisa Renee Jones. I like her writing. But the two main characters was working my nerves. Yeah, I'm, let's move on. <laughs> Next, I have Sex Material by Victoria Ashley. This is another book from the um, Romance Reveal book box. I know I got this out of Romance Review Book Bar, but there's no signature. You know, usually they have the author sign the book, but I don't see what she signed anything in this book. And I know I didn't buy this. I had to get it from um, the uh, Romance Review Book Bar because I did not buy this. I remember, it looked like I remember uh, showing this from the Reveal Book Bar because I said something about his eyes, as you can see. This is a beautiful cover, and I like how they got this on the inside, too. But there's nothing fancy about the... Uh, about the main chapters or anything and this book is a hundred and oh this is only 200 and some pages 286 pages so this will be a fast read too i don't like these white pages they have in this book i know i'm, I'm, I'm going on a rant today <laughs> i don't like these real white pages i don't i'd rather for, i'd rather for them to be like this kind of faded like i don't know and how many pages was in this book this was 200 and some pages but it felt like it was about almost uh 400 pages the way I was reading it, but it was like only 293 pages. But yeah, uh, I enjoyed this one. I gave this four stars. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, this is on Cami. Let me make sure. And I like, I just like this total how they did this book, except for these, except for these white sheets here. Um, his name is Jensen, and her name is, uh, I think her name is Cami. Let me. Or maybe I'm wrong. Let me look through here and see. Can I find her chapter? Got to be in here somewhere. Close to the front. Where are you? Oh, yeah. Her name is Cammie. And his name is Jensen. And he's a construction. Uh, he owns his own construction company. Uh, in this small town. It's like a little small town romance. He, um, he owns his own construction company. And he, he fix up how. Sorry, my camera went out. He fix up houses and he also rent them out. So he owns his own. He fix up houses and rent them. He owns his own construction company. So he's doing things. And Cammy is a school teacher. You, I think I mentioned I like school teachers. Um, when the heroine is a school teacher or anybody is a school teacher, I just like that kind of occupation. Where one of the characters is a uh, teaches at a school and. She runs and she's engaged or she's going with somebody. She's been with this guy for three or four years, I think. And she go, he's a school teacher too, the guy that she's going with. And she go to his, um, out the school is over where she go to his class, you know, to uh, see him. And you know what? He's in there with somebody else doing something he don't need to be doing. And she goes back to the house. She leaves him and go um stay with her friend and her friend live next door to the house that um jensen is working on and her friend tell her you can move next door to me you can rent this house out from him so they go over there and talk to him and then this one they got good banter back and forth banter i really really enjoy it that makes the story move quicker to me when your characters have banter good banter between um the two main characters and you know the whole book have good banter in it i like the conversation and the dialogue between all the characters in the book and it make the books uh read quicker to me so him and um Jensen and Cammy have good chemistry, good um, banter back and forth. I really, really enjoyed this. I give it four stars, four and a half stars, either one of them. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I highly recommend it. And it's called Sick Material, and it does have some steaminess going on up in here. It's not over the top, um, but um, it's in here. So, like I said, if you don't like that in your, your uh, romance book, it might not be for you. But I enjoyed it. 
Highly, highly recommend it. And that's Sex Material by Victoria Ashley. And the last book I have here is Cold Hearted Baller. This is another one for, from the, I guess I got all of these are from the uh, romantic uh, book box. Because I'm trying to go through all those because I'm steady getting the, the, the uh, book box. So I need to be reading these books. So this is another one. I think this is from uh, June. And I read the back of this. And it sounded good. And also, he said it was keep it dirty. So I know some steaming was up in here. So I was like, let me read and see what's going on. And this is by uh, Logan Chance. Or just Logan. And this is book number one in the uh, Cold Hearted series, I think it's called. The Cold Hearted series. Uh, this, I gave this three and a half stars. It was okay to me. Um, I, I flew right through it. They had good banter too, but I just wasn't into the two main characters too much and they meet uh what are their names uh, let's see here do they have the names on the front her name is calliope and his name is what is his name uh, let's see here max his name is max he's a baseball player and they meet when she goes to a job interview and he uh max uh is a uh, what is he he's a uh, uh oh i can't even think of it now but he is advertising some kind of a, a drink or something that's supposed to give you energy or energy drink. He's the he's advertising for this company for this energy drink. And she her I think her friend told her to drink it or, you know, this might help you out when you go on your interview because she's trying to she is a pastry maker. She do pastry. She owns her own pastry shop, I think. She, and she's trying to get this. Um. She go into this company trying to, I guess you want to be, make their pastries for them or whatever. And she goes there for the interview and that drink get her too hype. <laughs> it's like she done got drunk or something. It, 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 yeah, she's over hype and she don't get the, uh, they don't hire her for the job and she blames him. And I think she go on his website. She goes somewhere and write a scathing article about the drink or whatever. And he contacts her. So that's how it goes from there. Because he want to meet her and stuff. And it goes from there. And that's how they get involved. But like I said, I couldn't get in them to them too much. It was okay. It just didn't have those special moments. I like to have special moments where the two characters are together and something happened. And you'd be like, wow, you have to go back and read that again. Because it touched you a little bit. But yeah, I didn't have none of that in here. But I give it three and a half stars. If you've read Logan Chance before and you like his writing, I, have, I recommend it. Um... Like I said, even though I give it three and a half stars, it don't mean I didn't like it. I enjoyed the story. I flew right through the book. The characters were all right, but it just didn't have those special moments in there for me. So I gave it three and a half stars. So that's Cold Hearted Baller. That's book number one in the um, Cold Hearted series by Logan Chance. Or he going at, Lo at as Logan. I guess he's going to be going as... I don't know if it's male or female. going to be going as Logan for maybe this, this series. And there it is right there. Nothing special about the chapters or anything. And I did say it was signed. And let me show it to you there. It was signed. And how many... Uh, it was... How many pages in here? It was 238 pages. And it was on the, the correct paper. I like this kind of paper. Cold Hearted Baller. Three and a half stars. And then I had Sex Material. And also on sex material, I like that when um, the female character met him, she described him exactly like the guy on this cover, because he got um, she said something about his eyes in the in the book that he had piercing blue eyes, and I like that because you know on some of these books when you get the cover and you read you be reading in here and you go back you be like this guy is nothing like what you got in this book. I don't know why they don't make the actual. Um, person on the cover match what the the uh writer is describing in their books i don't get it yeah because sometimes you the man has a scar you look on here he don't even have a scar on his face yeah that's another rant <laughs> let's move on but yeah i like that about this book too uh when the female described the the um male in the book he had piercing blue eyes and his eyes are piercing piercing and I think they got his information in here. Who this guy is on the front of the cover. Yep. the His name is uh, Cass Vanderwart. The cover. He got it going on. 
love it love this cover love this book i gave this four stars loved it check it out sex material by victoria ashley uh this one wasn't signed so it has these old white this old white uh white uh sheets up in here or the pages white pages the white pages that's what i'm trying to say the white page and this was only 286 pages and i think you'll run right through it. it it didn't take me no time to read this i really really enjoyed it and also i might have to give this four and a half stars for the cover so let's change that to four and a half stars <laughs> next i had hard rules a dirty money novel by lisa renee jones i gave this uh three and a half stars uh, this had uh, how many pages in here 293 pages it ended on a cliffhanger so there's two more books in this series and I don't know how many books uh, in this series I just know this is book number one in the series and I won't be continuing with the series it didn't like I said it didn't grab my attention that much and I won't be continuing with this series unless somebody give me a reason to in the comments below if they really enjoyed it because I did not uh, next, I have Ask Me Why by Hollow Ray. Really, really enjoyed this one. Love the covers. Uh, the uh, chapter pages in here. Beautiful. Love the chapter pages. I like how they're doing the chapter pages now in these books. And this was, uh, how many pages was this? Uh, this was, if it will let me see here. Where did it end at? This was 300 and... 17 pages where the story ended on 317. I really really enjoyed this. I flew right through this one Really really enjoyed it. I think I read this the day and a half. I started at night and I finished it the next morning Really really enjoyed it. Ask me why quick read Sylvia day butterfly and frost. I think I told you how many pages in here uh, This one I gave three and a half stars. It was it was okay. Uh, I Think I gave this for I said four stars. But I'm gonna give this four and a half stars. I really really enjoyed it Okay, that three and a half stars. And then I had my ebook here. Let me go back over there. I don't know how many pages in this book. Uh, but I gave this uh I think I gave this four stars, I think. Yeah. Or four and a half star for the cover. Because yeah, this cover got it going on. <laughs> well, that's all I have for now. Those are all the reads I have. Um, I'm gonna do another video. I need to get some videos out so I need to do a book haul and my birthday was August the 1st so I got a birthday haul also so I'm gonna come back and do those uh maybe I'll space them out uh, maybe I'll post two videos today and I'll space the other ones out through the week but that's all I have for now and keep reading those romances and I'll see you all later bye have a great evening bye bye